Our scripture reading for today is coming from Matthew 26, verses 38 and 39. First, I want to say good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Then he said to them, I am deeply grieved, even to death. Remain here and stay awake. And going a little farther, he threw himself on the ground and prayed, My father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. Uh, what does that translate to? I don't want to do this. Is there another way? Yet, not what I want, but what you want, or nevertheless, not my will, but thy will be done. Last semester, I, uh, they haven't been in suits, this must be a serious occasion. Um, <laughs> last semester, I taught a course on life cycle, life cycle theory, Eric Erickson's life cycle theory. Some of you were in that class. Every week, I tried to communicate that I was Tormented by what we were discussing every week. The real issue was for me is that every time the class was over, I realized I'm not as developed as I thought I was. The first stage is trust versus mistrust. I don't think I'm past that stage yet. So struggle with trust. And the virtue of that first stage is hope. And I don't think it's just me. It's hard to really have a lot of hope these days. His final stage is integrity versus despair. I kept asking myself, am I living the kind of life that when I get older, I can say to myself, I really have integrity. What does it mean to have integrity? And over the winter break, while reflecting on this, I had to admit to myself that one of the reasons I'm not developing the way I should is because I have an addiction. Please don't let this leave this room. Don't tell my wife. She'll use it against me. And I've had it for a very long time. I'm addicted to my will. Now, <laughs> ABS, calm down. The, um, the problem with the will is that I can't deny it. My will has done me some good. It feels good to exercise my will. But the question is, how far can my will take me? The will is hard to control. Can my will give me integrity? Now, what is integrity? There's two definitions. One is to be truthful, honorable. And the second definition is what Erickson is really leaning towards. Integrity means wholeness. You can be truthful and not be whole. Kind of sheds a new light on when Jesus would ask someone before he would heal them, wilt thou be made whole? Wilt thou have integrity? What is the use of being able to see after being blind, but having no integrity? What is the use of being able to walk after being lame for years, but you have no integrity? Not to upset anyone here, but 
your degree from Princeton Theological Seminary. You may be smarter for it. You may be placed in an outstanding congregation. Doesn't mean you have integrity. Wilt thou be made whole? How's my search for integrity going to grant me wholeness? Now, in that last stage, you have integrity, and the downside is despair. Now, what is despair? Erickson said that we are in despair when we realize our days are coming to an end, and our options as far as achieving integrity start to narrow. Time is running out. And your choices as far as how you're going to achieve integrity are getting smaller and smaller. Now, what do we do when we face despair? Erickson has a great line in one of his essays. He says that the old, when the body starts to fail, and friends are dying. It seems that you're becoming more alone and isolated. He says that the old doctor, their memories. What is he saying? We manufacture integrity. As it gets harder to achieve it on our own, we make up ways to achieve integrity. Let me ask you a question. In our, by the way, let me just share this too. I'm not the only one that suffers from an addiction of the will. <laughs> you had the same addiction too. In our desire for integrity, might as well get to the point. How often do we confuse our will? with God's will. Let's take it one step further. In our addiction to our will, do we sometimes think we know what God's will is for someone else? Is it God's will for them to suffer? Is it God's will for them to be excluded? Is it God's will for them to be enslaved? All because of our addiction to our will. In Gethsemane, Jesus was being tormented. He wasn't about to die because of old age. He was about to die because of them. The test of our will, I want to suggest, is not how much we are actually willing to suffer for ourselves, but how much will we endure for them? Maybe it would have been easier for Jesus if he was going to the cross just for the disciples. Maybe it would have been easier if he was going to the cross just for those who believed in him. Maybe the torment would have been less if he was just going to, going to the cross for those whom he knew would call him Lord. But to suffer, to be mocked and jeered for them. We have a picture sometimes that Jesus went to the cross happily, as though God's will was easy on him. God's will is hard. Doing God's will hurts. 
It takes great sacrifice. It's hard giving up all will. I like to think that all the way up to Calvary, Jesus kept repeating to himself, nevertheless, 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 nevertheless. And while on the cross, Luke accounts, Luke's account of the crucifixion tells us this. What was Jesus able to do? Not condemn or lash out at those who were persecuting him. What does he say? Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. Jesus realizes how our addiction to our will moves us to seek perverse ways of achieving integrity. Father forgives them, for they know not what they do. Maybe Jesus recognized that I am just like them. Even on the cross, he recognizes, I know what it is to struggle with my will. Nevertheless, nevertheless, nevertheless. Princeton Seminary, we have a lot of growing up to do. Years from now, will they look back at this institution and say, this was a place of integrity? Will they look back and say, this was a place that allowed its students, as diverse as they are, to achieve a sense of integrity? How are we gonna accomplish this? I encourage you as you leave this chapel today to repeat to yourself, nevertheless, 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 nevertheless. Not Princeton Seminary's will, but God's will be done.